Okay, once again, um, back from Back to Sicily fans. Today is uh, Christmas Eve, December 24, and so it is day seven since um, I returned home from uh, Palermo. So this morning, I'm going to take um, a little ride. I'll show you, um, basically, uh, I don't really walk around these days. I <laughs> I just walk down to the garage and uh, go for a drive to everything and anything I have to do. But that's life in the big city. So um, let me not crash through the garage door here as I back up, back up. And you'll see that we have a um, we had a dusting of snow last night that came down upon us. So um, let me look at all sides. I'll close the garage door to make sure. No critters go in while to keep what's going on. There we go. And I'll give you a, a 360 here. I'm trying to keep my car as clean as possible, which doesn't really happen often. So okay, so we are um, we are going to go for a little ride. And I thought I would try to visit my old friends at the old John C. Daniels school and do a, um, let me not run over our mailbox. And I'll try not to put on the radio so there will not be a, um, oops. Oh my God, I gotta fix that squeaky window. Um, it's the gasket. Let's look at the snow conditions here. I think the roads have looks like it may have been salted. Yeah, I think it was. I could see some some granules on the side of the street. So what's going on? Oh, seat belt. That's a good idea. Seat belt is on, and let me see. We have one of our friendly neighbors going for a little walk. So, I would normally, I'd want to turn on my Natalie Cole CD for Christmas with Nat King Cole because then. Google will, or YouTube rather, will flag the video and send me a copyright potential issue. Alright, here we are. I'm going to try to keep both hands on the wheels as we cross. New Haven, Connecticut, home of Yale University, and uh, home of the best pizza in all of the USA. That's our big claim to fame here. And of course, all the other Italian bakeries. I think it's. Uh, is it Luci Bello? Libby's is getting a, a big makeover and a big write-up in a newspaper with their famous cannolis and other Italian pastries. So we'll have to see. I'm not sure when the grand opening is, but we'll have to take a ride that way. Well, let me see. So I went 22 miles yesterday, which is a light day compared to the driving I've been doing on most of the days. This should be less than a 10 minute ride and I didn't take the shortcut which I normally would do when I used to bring the children to, to this um, 
their first elementary school called the John C. Daniel School in New Haven. So what I'll do is I'll cut through West Haven over here. And I think this intersection is really uh, where we just cross from the orange border to West Haven. And then now down the street there uh, will be New Haven. So we'll continue to go this way. And being New Year's Eve day, traffic is super light. Probably the only one, the only people on the road are those who have last minute grocery shopping to do for their Christmas Eve dinner tonight or this afternoon, depending upon the family tradition. So normally in my daily routine in Palermo, I would just walk everywhere, but that is not the case here. So. Take you in a take you on a driving tour, and let's see. I think I'll go all the way to the lights. I usually would turn left right here and cut through the quieter neighborhoods street to avoid this traffic light up ahead because it tends to be a bottleneck. But given it's a light traffic day. Probably it's just the more direct route to take. And we're coming up to a light, which may be some time. Oh, this reminds me, up, up ahead, actually there, uh, beginning in this corner, is the University of New Haven. Beginning in that corner right there. And uh, the building, you see way in the distance, the silver uh, with the black windows is the... Um, the Regional Veterans uh, Administration Hospital. So that's my place to go. In fact, I should check in with them. I don't know if I really need a COVID test since I returned from Palermo, but it might be worth a look. And I'll, I'll try to swing by the, uh, the clinic after I complete this little filming upload episode here. This will be, as I said, day seven today, will have been, um, I arrived seven days ago, last Friday at uh, 9 p.m. So I'm about uh, 14 hours away from completing, completing a full week being uh, at home. There's our friendly Dunkin' Donuts that uh, Lucia loved to get her chocolate frosted or strawberry frosted donut when she was a a little first grader and second grader of course now it's a fourth grader she still loves her Dunkin Donuts strawberry frosted with sprinkles treats uh, so right here this is uh, El Grasso Boulevard and Route 1 intersection of and this begins the hill neighborhood of New, Ham New, of New Haven as soon as we cross this um, traffic light. And again, a nice, quiet, first snowfall that I've seen anyway. I think, I don't know if the, it is for everybody else, but um, I didn't hear that they had snow before. We have the green light, so we will go ahead. And let's see. I don't know if that's visible. It says, welcome to Hill North of New Haven. Compliments of the Hill North Community Management Team. And this is Congress Avenue in New Haven. Turn off my signal indicator. And as you can see, it's a nice quiet ride. And um, One of my my points of interest in this neighborhood are my friends over at the um, APT Foundation, which is the largest methadone clinic 
in the, the New Haven area. I think they have um, at least two sites that I'm aware of. This one here is the largest, and then they have one over by the train station uh, called Long Wharf. So here's the John C. Daniels School. Give you a nice look there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive around. Things are looking good. It's a beautiful, newly constructed. I'm surprised why um, my friends at the Elm City Liquor Store are closed. I see there. That's the one thing I wanted to see visit. Is that um, you see that purple, purple tree there? Is a needle exchange. Uh, drop-off so that was one of the projects I was working on between this is the APT foundation right here and what I'm going to do is I will make a u-turn and go visit make a u-turn here you see there's the APT foundation and um, they usually open here at 5 a.m. And let me have a quick look. I don't know why Elm City Liquor Store is closed. They usually have a, a hopping, a hopping um, clientele. And let's see. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're at 11, 11 minutes. So we're really right at the right at uh, the end of our uh, filming time good morning good morning merry christmas merry christmas how are you all right all right let's see what's um what we have here so this was supposed to be blue i don't know why it's purple but uh it looks nice so it's uh, done by a local artist um so this is now called the uh syringe disposable disposal tree Arbol de Eliminación de Jeringa and safely dispose of any used syringes and so that's the uh, harm reduction task force here in um, in New Haven so is this working out pretty well uh, oh <laughs> well, it's just a, a safety what's that I don't use needles oh okay but it seems to um, be working well for the for the neighbors. I don't know. Please don't put me on. The no, no, no. You're not. You're not. You're not. I'm just doing the school. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess so. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, so I'm gonna close for now. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna find out from from the um, from the the group members to see what the latest uh, progress on that front is. So for now, here at uh, the corner of Daggett Street and Congress Ave, we're gonna say uh, ciao and salve. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you at the next upload.